So as you see how they're just like hovering across in space? That. So infinitely you can stay at a certain level as much as you want until you release it. That's what I want to make. Like that's that's what I want to make. I legit haven't done one of these in like a year. So uh, I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If it's bad, it's bad. I guess we'll, we live with it. All right. We're going to start in three, two, one. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and get a player in. Make my players orange just because that's what I do. Looks to be about a good size. Let's go ahead and put in a round. So let's just call this a solid. That's fine for now. Let's go ahead, give it the solid property. Let's go ahead and give this one the platform property or behavior. And then we got to got to update it from there because um, the defaults, I don't like the way they work. All right, that doesn't feel too bad. Okay, cool. Uh, now we got to start figuring out how to make it hover. So I got to do some quick debugging here real fast. Again, this is a mechanic I've never actually done and I haven't tested it beforehand, so. Panic is setting in real fast. Excuse me. Okay, so that's activating the moment I... Uh, okay, so uh, I've already failed in my initial idea of what I wanted to set up here, so that's pretty much to be expected. Let's see if that'll work. Ah. Fall like a ton of bricks, though. It's only working sometime. I wish I didn't fall so fast, though. Oh, the gravity increases while in the air. That's, you know what? I didn't even think about that. There we go. That feels better. Why, uh, why do you do this? I'm, I'm questioning that myself. I used to do this every week, um, and I used to be in really good practice, and now I'm like, ha ha. Oh god, we've already wasted like 20 minutes and I've barely got this thing moving. <laughs> How are you today? Let's add in... Okay, so I think that's the basic gist of what I want. So my thought here is, right, we can't jump up here, but to get through the level, you can kind of come up... You can come up here, do that, and then get across. So that's kind of my idea for what I want to do. It's it's pretty scuffed, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it as it is. Uh, let's make one kind of like test level here. So let's get a camera kind of running on set position and we're going to lerp it from camera's position. And we should have a camera that follows our player. Excellent. Can't even type right now. <laughs> I'm so freaking nervous about this, man. All right, we're going to need some other things to get up. Uh, favorite thing ever. Bounce pad. Every game needs a bounce pad because we need other ways of getting better height as well. So let's go be player box on collision with another object when it collides with bounce pad. That should hopefully at least make it bounce up right now. That's not much higher than my jump. So let's go ahead and make that negative a thousand. See how that goes. Y vector is negative, obviously, to go up. Okay, so we got a bounce pad in now. Uh, let's go ahead and add in some doors that are associated with keys. I think that's all I need, um, at least for this. We're doing a very we're doing very simple key doors. I'll, I'll we'll try and make better art in a minute, but for now. And I want to test this by having two of these around. So I need this one, this one, this one, and this. Player box on collision with another object when it collides with a key. Key ID. So if it has the same as the key ID, door destroy. We're just gonna be super simple about this. So now as we collect each of these, that should destroy that one and that should destroy that one. Okay, I gotta make sure I destroy the key too. I just wanna make all of the little pieces I'm probably gonna need for this to make a handful of levels because let's see, we're a little over half an hour in. Okay, we're not doing too bad. I'm trying to think if there's any other mechanics that I would like to use and just get in because otherwise I think we're gonna spend a good chunk of time like level building and seeing how we like this stuff. I wanna spend at least like the last hour level building at the very, very least. Like I wanna spend a good amount of time making some levels here. Do moving platforms. Just gonna give them a sign behavior and call it a day. I should very easily be able to just run over here, bounce on that, land on this. Okay, so the next thing we need to be able to do is we need to be able to die. So we need spikes because it's a platform game and if you make a platform game without spikes, you didn't actually make a platform game. What would you call a platform game without spikes? Almost done? Incomplete? I'm not sure yet. Kidding, by the way. Like your platformer levels, like you like your seltzer, spiked. <laughs> we need 
set up for some art. I don't know if we're actually going to make like full art, but we're going to make some stuff. Like another player. So this will be my player art. And the reason I do that is I like to make my player art and my player hitbox different, separate. So once it collides with the spikes, what I wanted to do is basically we're going to stop the player's ability to move. We're going to hide the player art. We're going to spawn in the player's dead animation and we're going to pop it off the screen. So it's a fun little trick. Instead of trying to disconnect everything from your player and then make it move in a weird way, just hide your player, spawn a new version of it, and that's the death. Um, and that's the fastest and easiest way I've found to do like a cute little kitschy death. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Let's give it a little bit more oomph there. Uh, what if we do 500? Sprites need some work, you'd say? Oh yeah, I haven't even touched the sprites yet. This is literally all placeholder. We've been going for 45 minutes. So good. Okay, uh, what else would we need? We got we got a way to die. We got collectibles, or we got our keys to collect to get through the level. Uh, we need a level exit to go to the next layout. That's what we need. We're almost an hour down, and we almost I think we have most of the mechanics in now. So we should be good after this. Now it's just going to be we'll try and make it look a little prettier, and we'll build some level, and we got to build some levels. Uh, we might be able to add sound effects. I don't know actually, but I don't want to. I don't want to add too much more than this because I feel like after that it's going to become more and more of a problem. I'm not going to have time to put a menu and stuff in this, so I'm trying to think if I need to set up like a full function to be able to switch between different menus and stuff. But honestly, we're not going to have a menu. We're not going to have time for that. Let's let's not be let's not kid ourselves. So now, when we reach the end, we should be going to level. Two. That's good. Level progression is done. So I think that's all of the pieces we need. Now we've got to go ahead and make it not look terrible and figure out some levels. So we're an hour in. That's a really good set time. Um, at an hour in, we have what? Okay. Oh, let's add in. Let's add in some enemies real fast. Not really enemies, just obstacles. We'll be able to get both of those. Come over here. Be able to get by it. If I hit it, I die. Anything be left over uh, for future Vimlark or too short project for that? I mean, I am future Vimlark right now. This this is where this is where current Vimlark and future Vimlark meld because we are just we are one. The controls are still kind of crap, unfortunately. I would like the input to start hovering just be the jump button, but I'm having issues with that, and I'm not gonna fight with it right now. It's working with separate inputs. We'll live with it. Do we art it now? Like, do we actually want to make this look nice? I guess we do. I want to make a purple hover pack in honor of Spelunky 2. Put a little friend on it. Uh, no, I take it back. We're making it a robot. I'm going for my usual. It's just going to be a goddamn robot. <laughs> Screw it. I'm not fighting with it. Oh, he looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, I got sad there. Okay, poor little guy. You gotta go. Okay. Tree Squirrel, thank you for the gifts up to wall, uh, to wall Jump. Wall Jump, what's up, buddy? How are you? Everybody, put some hearts in chat. Show some love. I'm getting back in the tub. Again, around here, we have sub for tub. When we get a sub, I get the tub. You know, like you do. Okay, so let's do idle real fast. Okay, we'll slow that down in game, so that's fine. But when it moves... <laughs> oh yeah, funky times. Look at him go, look at him go. It's a bop. He likes it. Again, we'll, we're gonna make that, we're gonna make it go a lot. We're gonna make it go a lot slower in actual engine. I'm just not messing with that here. We need a key for the door. Fits a little bit better. It's kind of a chunky, chunky key. Good enough for the timing. I need to stop messing with it. Fine, it's fine, whatever. This is why I can't make things fast. I obsess, I get too much into it. I'm caring way too much. You know that feeling when you know you're mess, you know it shouldn't matter and you're doing too much and you're doing it anyway? Whatever, good enough. God, that really is isn't it? Let's just make key cards. Screw it, let's just make key cards. I don't know why I can't draw a key right now, but it's not working. I've drawn once, that wasn't the correct thing to do. Brown on him like a chip. This is what we call caring too much. But 
I get obsessed. I gotta make sure that they animate now. Let's do a speed of, let's try eight. Not 83. 83 would be bad. It's 83. <laughs> a little too much juice on that one. We need something for the enemies now. Go with angry circles. Uh, they don't really need to animate at all. Screw it. I don't have time. Need to make spikes now. You want them to come to a point. Um, they need to be odd. Okay, we need a level exit. I don't even know what I'm making here. A combination between like a door and a portal or something. What the hell is that? God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's just make a portal. I don't even know what I want this to be. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what I want this to be. I hate it. I hate it. Screw it. We're making we're just gonna make a big door. And no one's gonna care. Out of time. I don't have any more I don't have any more time to futz with it. It's just it's it is what it is. Could be better, but we're out of time. We got an hour. Okay, so we gotta start designing. Um if I can come back in and mess with it later, I will. But for now, we gotta start designing levels. Okay, so here are our options for our levels. We've got key cards, doors, moving platforms, enemies, the final door, that, and our player. And bounce pads. I'm considering just making a quick little tile map and just like making a couple of squares. Let's do that real fast, actually. I'm gonna do some like Mario style-ish blocks kind of a thing. 53 minutes. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta haul ass now. We're not gonna get sound in, most likely. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so let's start off with our first level here, which is gonna be just to teach you what you're supposed to do. Okay, level one. So next up, what do we want to teach the player about the jump pads, probably, or the door? Pull this down by one. We'll pull this around over here. That up like that. Another another box room. But in here, what we're going to do is we're going to put spikes on the ground. We should be able to grab this, do that, fill that in now. And if I've done everything properly here, we should be able to complete this level. Come to this level. Excellent. Cool. Now you got to kind of go up. Oh, nope. Oh, jump too high. Nice. That one's cool. Uh, duplicate off of that now. Now we have level four. Level designing in like quick succession. Not not as fun as just normal level designing for sure. I, I'm not thinking too much about it and this may be horribly unbalanced. I'm sorry if it is. Put that there. Um, what I'm gonna wanna do then is you're gonna have to jump through Gap here, down, transfer, and get a key out of it. Put those there, put these here, be extra mean. If I just put that there, this is kind of stupid, but whatever. I don't have time. I guess we can introduce some enemies here too now. Let's do that. Maybe it's not as stupid as I thought. Up here, tight drop. Oh, that takes away the door. Fall down here. Up. Okay. Done. Let's step up the difficulty here, and it's probably going to be really mean. Uh, I think that's a little too mean. Maybe we'll just do one last one at the top here. I actually, I actually really like that section now. I think I might leave it at the five levels. I think that's, I think that, I think these work. I think these are going to be hard enough. Box, fill it with bounce pads. Did it. But we're not going to get any sound effects in. I don't feel like, and I think doing a timer is going to be a bad idea. Let's not do it. Okay, I'm not going to have time for a timer. Let's do a death counter instead, mostly because we're not gonna have the amount of time we need. Ah, typing, <laughs> running out of time. We've only got 10 minutes, we gotta go. Uh, we're gonna set text, set freaking text, Jesus. There it is. Okay, we've got eight minutes. All right, let's, uh, I don't think we're gonna have to, we have no time for sound effects. 
Oh no, the death counter can't be black because it's over the, it's all that. Copy it out. I'm gonna make a second one that's white. I'm gonna put it just over the top of it. Now they'll, they should both update properly. So even if it overlaps the background, you see it's got a drop shadow to it now. Up arrow to jump. I would like to do better controls, but I don't have them. So sorry. Base to toggle hover. Okay, so it's level one. Right arrows to move, jump. Okay. Um, we have five minutes left. Oh, you know what I really need to add? Oh crap, hang on. I just need to add a bit of JavaScript art. Right, it just disables the arrow keys from working when... Uh... Sorry, trying to get all the testing stuff in right now. So we die, one, die, two. Okay, off. I'm just trying to figure out all the last little bits we need. Um, let's go. Two minutes. Doc. Thank you, Barrett. Whoa. Yes, I know. I don't. I don't. I got. Okay. Um. 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 Articles. Pro rate negative four. What we'll do is. Oh my God! Do I have enough time for this? I have thirty seconds. God damn it! No. 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 Uh, player. Crap. Player. 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 Uh, uncreated. Fun. Articles. I don't have time. I don't have time to put it on. Never mind. I don't have time to put it on. I don't have time. I think we're done. I, we've got 15 seconds. There's literally nothing else I can do. There's literally nothing else I can do. All right. Before I export it, five, four, three, two, one. The time has been done. <laughs> God damn it, that's exhausting. Um, I haven't done that in a long time. Okay, let me make sure that we can actually get through it. Thank you for all the good jobs. I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you for the GGs. All right, uh, let's make sure that we can that I can complete it, and then I'll put it up. Uh, I'll put it up, and you guys can play it. Okay. So let me make sure I can get through it. So left and right arrows to move, up arrow to jump, base bar to toggle hover. I don't like the controls. I would love to give it better controls, but this is where we're at. We jump and hover, jump and hover. I wish that had a better texture on it as well. Same with the doors. So this doesn't have a variable height jump, so you gotta get your timing right. Nope, not high enough. There we go. Here we want to get up there, but we can't. So we got to go this. Make it through this. Drop. I would have loved to put a little checker in there to be able to move the camera down better. Sorry. My bad. Gonna be a little lower. There we go. Where's my death counter? Where's my death count? Wait, why did- Son of a bitch. You. You're level four, you asshole. Yeah, close your eyes. Everybody keep your eyes closed. Nobody's seeing anything. Exactly. You saw absolutely nothing. Good. I'm glad we're all in agreement here. Speedrun. I do wish I could have added a speedrun timer. I wouldn't have- I wouldn't have had enough time, though. Here. That. 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 I didn't even think about that. Okay. I don't know if I properly tested this level actually to make sure I could actually beat it. <laughs> You've got to stay above this ledge basically, so you have to get in here. There we go. Okay. It's possible. I only died four times. There's supposed to be a space there. And now my death should reset to zero. Excellent. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna fix one last thing, which is basically, I'm just gonna add a space. 
And if you don't think that that's fair, uh, look away again, I guess. There we go. Upload a new project. Hoverbot. Hover to victory. Made in three hours. Okay, and pressing up and stuff doesn't mess with the page at all. All right, let me set this live and you guys can check it out. Really wish to have a zero death speedrun. That would be really cool. Like, I, I kind of, I like this mechanic. This mechanic's kind of fun. It, it, it presents some interesting design challenges, and I know I didn't really get to, like, explore them super well. Hover effect stays when you die. I mean, yeah, it's... T yeah, I ran out of time. I forgot to turn it off. My bad. <laughs> it was three hours. What do you want from me? I, did, I barely got to bug... I didn't even really get to bug test. I never actually got to... I don't think we actually got to play an entire... I don't think I actually played through a whole thing before at the end of the time. Most likely what's going to happen is usually the way this works... Um, that's weird. Um, usually the way this works is I make a game like this in a three-hour challenge, and then what we're gonna do later is there's gonna be a game jam, and I'm gonna re I'm gonna make this game better for a game jam. There we go, zero deaths. I considering we did art too. We didn't finish all of the art, unfortunately. But considering in three hours we were able to make we were able to program the mechanics. I mean, we started with a legit blank file. So in three hours, starting with a blank file, we high enough. Starting with a blank file, we made all the mechanics, all of the little pieces, so the moving platforms, all of that. Uh like what, three quarters of the art, probably, something like that. I think the level design happened in about 45 minutes. I think we I think we did the level design in about 45 minutes. This is cool. I like it. I like it. For a little three-hour project, I think this is a really cool proof of concept. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give the video a like and subscribe to see more. If you want to catch the process live, come hang out at twitch.tv slash vimlark. This is the first time I'm trying a video like this, so let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to try this game, it's on an itch page I have set up for these sorts of quick challenges. There's a link in the description. I'd like to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping making these videos possible. Especially my video tier patrons like Baron Earth, Chichiman, Cinnabunny, Curdle Games, Nightfall, Killboy Gaming, Matsi Makes, Nazar Salim, Salty Pretzel, Scott Hansen, Soapy Gnome, Straight Up Gruntled, and Warren Steven Rose. You're all amazing and I can't thank you enough for the support. Again, if you like this form of video, let me know. I have a blast making these quick challenge prototypes and I plan to do more in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you next time. Have a good one. Later.